Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about how to train a single perceptron. In our last class, we already discussed about perceptron and the terms and terminology required for the perceptron. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, before going into the concept of how to train a single perceptron, let's refresh the concepts of uh, how we trained our multiple linear regression model in our machine learning. The first 13 videos which we discussed in our uh, machine learning playlist, those are very important for understanding machine learning. Not only for machine learning, the same concepts we will use here in the deep learning also. So based on the assumption that you already watched all our machine learning playlist, based on that assumption, we are continuing the class. Uh, so if you don't watch that videos, please watch our pre machine learning playlist and come back here. Okay, coming to today's class, let's take an example. The example which we consider here is this is our data set. In this data set, we are having four input columns, x1, x2, x3 and x4 and output column y. Suppose if you want to apply multiple linear regression on this data set, how many columns we are having here? Four input columns. So what the multiple linear regression model will do? It will identify a hyperplane, which dimension? Four dimensional hyperplane that passes through this data and having minimum loss. That plane will be identified. So what's the plane it will identify? The plane that is having minimum loss. What's the loss function we used in regression models? Uh, the loss function which we used in regression models is equal to 1 by n sigma y minus y hat means uh, predicted value y minus y hat whole square. This we call it as uh, mean squared loss. Uh, this is the loss function which we applied for uh, regression model. So what, uh, how we trained our model? What, what, in order to identify a plane that gives the minimum loss of what we have done in our uh, machine learning models in the multiple linear regression model. What we have done here is, uh, this is the equation for hyperplane, four dimensional hyperplane, W1 X1 plus W2 X2 plus W3 X3 plus uh, W4 X4 plus W0 is the bias term. This is compulsory. What's the use of bias? All these things were discussed in machine learning. So this is the equation. What we have to identify here is a W1 value, W2 value, W3, W4 and W0 values. These are the values we have to identify. So how we identified? Initially, randomly we selected some W values. We selected, we randomly picked some W1, W2, W3, W4 and W0 values. So whenever we substitute, take the first data point, 1, 2, 5, 6 is our input values. If you substitute in our in this equation, W1, W2, W3, W4 and W0 values are randomly selected. So after selecting that, if you substitute this point in this equation, we will get the predicted value. This we call it as y hat. So we are taking our first data point, substituting it in, a, in the equation and we are getting the y hat value. After substituting, after getting the y hat predicted value, so what we are doing here, we are using stochastic gradient descent for updating our w1, w2, w3 and w4 and w0 values. How long we are updating these values till convergence, that is what we have done in a machine learning multiple linear regression model. So what we are doing here is a stochastic gradient descent w1 new is equal to the equation we used here is a w1 old. What's the w1 old means the randomly selected value for the first iteration. So w1 old minus alpha into do l by do w1 partial differentiation of our l. l means y minus y hat whole square that is what l is y hat means in place of y hat we have to substitute w1 x1 plus w2 x2 this equation substitute our x1 x2 x3 and x4 values and identify w1 update updating our w1 values so all these discussions were clearly made so based on that you so take the first data point update w1 new w2 new w3 new w4 new w0 new after updating the W0, W1, W values, these W values will come to our W old. Again, take the second data point, update. 
third data point update w values fourth data point update w values take all the data points update the w values if all the data points are over again do it from the beginning take the first point updates take the second point update this is what we call it as a stochastic gradient descent this is how we are updating our w values till convergence convergence means no more change in w values that is what we have done in machine learning coming to our deep learning concept single perceptron we are doing the same thing for updating our w values let's check the example the same example for we are having x1 x2 x3 x4 and one value in our last class when we discussed about perceptron we said that we will understand what's this w not in our next class this is the bias value bias term okay we are taking w1 x1 so so if you take the first data point and feed forwarding we discussed about feed forwarding means giving input to the perceptron so what happens when we give the input so randomly select some w values some values w1 x1 w2 x2 w3 x3 w4 x4 plus w0 into 1 that is what the equation z is equal to this value we are calling it as z w1 x1 plus w2 so this value and this z value is given to an activation function our activation function we call it as f it is given as z value is given as input to the activation function f of z we are calculating this f of z value whatever we got here we call it as our predicted value y hat now apply loss function l is equal to y minus y hat whole square and the same thing we are doing stochastic gradient descent for updating our w values this we call it as back propagation see here when we take the input and feeding input inside and getting the f of z value this are taking as a y hat and updating our w values how we update the w values same equations w1 u is equal to w1 whole minus alpha into do l by do w1 the difference between linear regression and single perceptron is in the loss function l is equal to y minus y hat whole square in place of f of z what we are having y hat y hat means here in our perceptron f of z substitute f of z so if you want to differentiate loss function with respect to w1 so what's the differentiation value do l by do w1 is equal to do l by do f because we are having a function here in the f we are having z value z means w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w3 x3 plus w4 x4 plus w0 so do l by do f do f by do w1 this we call it as chain rule of differentiation so the only difference between multiple linear regression and single perceptron back propagation is the do l by do w1 value will be calculated with this equation that is the only difference so now the important point we have to understand here is if we don't have this f function activation function this single perceptron is working exactly same as linear regression so what's the benefits we will get with this activation function in order to understand this we need some more basic knowledge we have to understand multiple uh, multi layer uh, perceptron and how to train the multi layer perceptron what are the activation functions that are present uh, all these concepts will be discussed in our next classes uh, after that uh, we will make a separate video on what's the use of this activation function i will give you statements here but the proof is given in our next uh, coming videos uh, we'll make a separate video for how, what is the benefits of activation function activation function provides non linearity without this activation function if you try in the single perceptron it is identifying the equation of a plane means it's a linear function but with this activation function we are getting non linearity if you got the non linearity means we can identify the complex patterns that are present in our data set that is the benefit we will get with the activation function how we will get it with this activation function we will understand in our next classes so this training the model getting the updating the w values we call it as back propagation 
So the same thing SGD stochastic gradient descent W1 nu is equal to W1 old minus alpha into dou L by dou W1. In place of dou L by dou W1 use this equation that is the only difference between single perceptron and, uh, multi, uh, and multiple linear regression. This is all about single perceptron training our single perceptron model. So without activation function it is just a linear regression. So this is all about single perceptron. Hope you understand the concept how we trained the single perceptron. In our next class, we discuss about multi-layer perceptron and how we train the multi-layer perceptron. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank, thank you.